Hi everyone! This week we are going to be making a craft that is going to remind us that God is real and it's going to help remind us of all of the amazing things that He does and just remind us to look around the world and see all of the amazing things that He does for us and how many things can show us that He is real. So today we heard the story about how God had set the burning bush on fire and Moses saw that it wasn't burning up though. It was on fire, but it wasn't burning. And he thought that that was amazing and that reminded him that God is real. So we're gonna make a craft that's going to remind us that God is real and it's also going to remind us about the burning bush. You're going to need some popsicle sticks, um, probably about six of them. We're going to be making a popsicle puzzle. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a design on the popsicle sticks, but we need all of the popsicle sticks to stay down in one place. So you're going to need a piece of duct tape about four inches long. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to lay it down, but put the sticky side up. So the sticky side of the tape needs to be up, and then you're going to lay your popsicle sticks onto the tape. And make sure that when you're lining them up, they line up evenly so that your design will be correct. And it might be kind of hard to do with the stickiness of the tape, but just try your best. go. There we go. So I'm looking at it and it looks like this stick right here just needs to come down a little bit. Just make sure when you're pulling your stick off of the tape that you don't pull the other ones off as well because then you have to redo everything. And looking at it, it looks like this last one should come closer to the other ones. It's a little bit too far away. Okay, perfect. Well, it's not perfect, but I think I'm going to like it at the end. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to turn this popsicle stick into a picture of the burning bush. So the first thing that I am going to do, actually I'll start with green draw some leaves for the bush and this can be any way that you want I'm just gonna kind of do some lines out like this all over I'm doing them in different directions because I think that will make it look more real Okay, now I'm going to make the fire. And if you wanted, you could also do this in paint. I just didn't have any paint, so I chose to do markers, but I think it would be really cool if you chose to do it in paint. Just make sure if you do paint, you put down a plate or paper underneath so that you don't get it on the table. And some, I wish I had an orange marker, then I would also add some orange to mine. Okay. So this is how it looks. And what's cool is that you can take the tape off of the back and 
end, you could keep it together. Or what I thought would be really cool is if you kind of mixed them all up. And you could even number the back of them. I actually should have done that, I guess, before I started this. I could number the back of the popsicle sticks so that when I put them together, I could see if it was correct or not. Um, but you could put them back together. You know, you would mix them all up. And then you would try to put your uh, puzzle, popsicle stick puzzle back together. Like right now, I just did this. But obviously this isn't correct so I would have to turn it and kind of try to see do these match up or not and just try to put my popsicle sticks back together to create my puzzle how it was before. Um, I just thought that this was a super quick and fun activity that you could do. Um, it is fun but I also want you guys to remember that the purpose of this activity is so that we can remember all of the great things that God does for us and we can remember all of the amazing things that he has put into the world for us. I also thought it would be really fun if we could do this with somebody younger and try to teach them about some great things that God has done for you or for your family or just amazing things that he has put out in the world that you like. You could talk to them about your favorite sport. If you think that's amazing, you could talk to them about flowers, butterflies, anything that makes you happy. You could talk to them about your family, your school, whatever you wanted. Bye. Have a great week.